Hi everybody. Today is a special day because it is Are You OK Day, which is such a lovely time to stop and just look after yourself and also others. I thought this was a good opportunity for me to read you a book, another one of my favourites. This one is called The Adventures of Beekle, The Unimaginary Friend by Dan Santat. Now, why I like this book is it explores the idea of imaginary friends. And some of you may have an imaginary friend or maybe you had one when you were much littler. This book explores the possibilities of the imaginary friends who might be just wandering around somewhere. And I guess it leads us to the idea that everybody needs and should have a good friend. So let's get started. The Adventures of Beekle, the Unimaginary Friend. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here they lived and played, each eagerly awaiting to be imagined by a real child. Who ever thought of imaginary friends being on some kind of island waiting to be born into being? <laughs> Every night he stood under the stars hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. He waited for many nights. But his turn never came. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friends from imagining him. So rather than waiting, he did the unimaginable. <gasps> Look at this world that he goes into. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things. But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on. Until he reached the real world. And this could be a picture almost a circular key in Sydney or even New York City. One of my favourite cities. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear music. And everyone needed nap time. <laughs> Then he finally saw something familiar. So he followed. <laughs> Look at his ears. He had a good feeling about this place, but he looked everywhere and he could not find his friends. <laughs> no wonder why he had a good feeling about this place. Wouldn't you love to be there? This is my favourite page. He climbed to the top of a tree and looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. But no one came. Look at little Beekle up in the tree all by himself waiting and the man running away, pretty sad. He thought about how far he'd come and how long he'd waited and felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello? Hello? This is where the story turns happy. <laughs> Look, look what happens letter. 
Her face was friendly and familiar, and there was something about her that felt just right. <laughs> At first, they weren't sure what to do. Neither of them had made a friend before, but after a little while, they realized they were perfect for each other. <laughs> Beekle and Alice had many new adventures. They shared their snacks, they told funny jokes. The world began to feel a little less strange, which is I think how it feels when you have a good friend, doesn't it? And together, they did the unimaginable. <laughs> Off on journeys and adventures. And the story ends with the words that say, sometimes the, the best friends lie just beyond our imagination. Well, I hope you liked this story about the adventures of Beekle, the unimaginary friend. And I hope it inspires you today to just spend some time with your friends, maybe make some new friends, and really just to be kind on Are You OK Day. Well, I hope you have a happy Are You OK Day, and I will see you soon. Bye.